It has been too long since my producers have tried to stump me with some woke commercials. No. <gasps> well, we've got them. Producer Ben Davies has them lined up for me. I can't wait to put all of my great skill and discernment to bear to guess what products these woke commercials are selling. Can we get on with it? <laughs> this is brought to you by Genucel. More from them in just a moment. First, though, give me the commercials. I'm Ryan Butler. Tiba train cards. Some kind of beauty product. I'm Yasu Tanaka. There's a lesbian and there's a woman. It's Most the lesbians reason are women, why I, I work every day with passion. When we look at the new generation, they really expect this from the companies they want to work for. It's not something optional anymore. So the only product I've seen is the is what looks like cosmetics. We're saying to you, we see you, we recognize you, and you deserve to be recognized. Since it's all about appearance. Well, I, mean, I could see it be, being a don't cosmetic. Don't be afraid thing. to ask about something you don't understand. It starts by you also being vulnerable to understand their experiences and turn like Old Spice. Kind of looks like one of those cool, jars. Uh, is Old Spice up there, yeah. isn't it? The people is more flexible. It'd be weird if Old Spice got super woke, though. Old Spice is used by 92-year-old men. Power of different people. Ultimately, we can do more. Procter and Gamble. Come on, that's not fair. It's not. They're all Procter and Gamble. I want some points for that. I could guess Procter & Gamble for all of them. I'd probably be batting like 750. Yeah! I want half a point. And pro plus Procter & Gamble sells cosmetics, right? Okay, all right, I'll stop litigating this issue. Next one. You know that little voice in your head? The one that tells you to ignore a tasteless joke. no product yet. Procter & Gamble. The one that tells you to keep quiet when a client makes a racist comment. Yeah, well, if it's a racist comment against whites, you better keep quiet or you're gonna lose your job. The little voice that tells you you're not smart enough. If you object to that at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally agree. White people are terrible. They're my least favorite kind of people. Yeah. Or that it's okay to judge like a suit company for leaving early because they have family commitments. Probably not, but it's that's also the only product I've seen here. The one that tells you not to say anything when others are being reduced to stereotypes. Or that it's not a big deal when everyone's opinion isn't considered. Well, yeah, it's not. You just want the best opinions considered. You may think you're the only one that hears that voice. But that voice also speaks to other people. It says, you're different. You're an outsider. You lack commitment. Your opinion doesn't matter. Can you just pause it for a second? Every person in this commercial, just about, is diverse. Right, every character is Middle Eastern, a black, a woman. There's, there was the one white guy who was on the phone call, but the, everyone's diverse. So why are these people all feeling so marginalized? Are there like two white people in their entire office building? What do we, we have to reduce that to one? We gotta reduce it to zero? Then everyone's still gonna somehow be marginalized. I don't know, Let's keep going. Instead of listening to that little voice, you need to find yours and make it heard. There's a voice thing like a, Phone? Phone company? It's time for all of us to speak up. Say it's some voice like phone thing. Because when we change the dialogue, we can change our world. Social media? Also, I'm sticking with a telecoms company. RBC, what is RBC? It's a bank? Banks wants to empty the banks, fill our streets with banks. All right, Ben Davies is gonna give me a half point because telecoms is not really like banking at all, but they're both kind of boring corporate jobs. So, okay, I'll take my half point, that's fine. I really want to redeem myself here. I also really wanna look good. That's why I love GenuCell. Our producers love 
the Ultra Retinol offered in GenuCell's most popular package. This nighttime moisturizer contains a powerful retinol alternative to visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and skin discoloration without the irritation of retinol. GenCell's Ultra Retinol helps to exfoliate the skin, which can reduce the appearance of pores and improve skin texture. It can also help to even skin tone by reducing the appearance of age, spots, and hyperpigmentation. You can see results guaranteed by GenuCell in as little as 12 hours or your money back. I love the company. Uh, at first I thought, men aren't gonna use this product. It's all for women, right? Actually, it turns out, fellas, I'm noticing that it's the guys who tend to use it even more than the women because we wanna look good too, okay? Love the owner. The owner is a Coptic Christian from Egypt, left Egypt, pursued the American dream. Great guy, great company. GenuCell.com slash Knowles, Y-T, K-N-W-L-E-S-Y-T, to save up for 70% on their most popular package. It includes dark spot corrector, ultra retinol, and under eye bag treatment. You'll get a complimentary spa essentials box with every order from now until Mother's Day, plus a free upgrade to priority shipping. Go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles, Y-T. That is GenuCell.com slash Knowles, Y-T. Back to the commercials. Let's say an airline. Am what I, am. I don't want praise. I don't want pity. I bang my own drum. Something gets no. It's definitely an airline, right? They blurred out the logo. It's an airline to hell. It's like a lot of leather and spikes and weird sex stuff going on. <laughs> Board our airline to hell. <laughs> Strike through the center of the earth. Virgin Atlantic, okay. Right. It looked like it. It almost looked like Delta. Delta wouldn't go that woke, even though Delta's kind of lib. Uh, but okay, Virgin Atlantic. That's that's it. Kind of funny that it's called Virgins. Sacrifice a Virgin Atlantic. Did she say Virgin? <laughs> it goes straight down to the pit of Tartarus. I guess my favorite one is the Virgin Atlantic one because all the others try to make wokeness seem really nice and happy and fun, and that one just makes it look like demons. Right? The spikes and the body mutilations and the kind of crazy looking faces. Yeah, I like that. I like honesty in advertising. I'm Michael Knowles. We'll see you next time. Don't you talk to Billy Idol that way. 